Alright, we start on a sad note this morning. Marcus Garvey Jr., the firstborn son of Jamaica's first national hero, Marcus Mosiah Garvey, died in Washington, uh, in Wellington, Florida, sorry, on Tuesday. Garvey, at 90, lost his battle with Alzheimer's disease, a condition he had been battling with for several years. Um, a sad loss for his family. Um, he, I know he, his wife expressed, you know, 30 years they've been together, and it's, it's a tough loss I mean, when you lose someone like that, and, you know, it's, it's hard. Yeah. And every time I think about losing someone this year, I'm so grateful that I have life and the people I love most around me, they have life as well. Yeah. So it's... it's and he really did a good job while he was, you know, alive and able. Um, you know, he really he cannot, carried on the legacy of yeah. his father. And um, I, the, the, the thought that I had, you know, after coming to the reality that he was no longer with us is who will carry on the work? Yeah. You know, because there is still work to be done. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> And I think one of the things I appreciate is that history will remember yeah. Marcus Gavin, the things he's done, and his son tried to carry on the legacy. And I'm sure those who will follow him, um, not just his family members, but those who believe in the, the preachings of Marcus Garvey yeah. will continue the legacy. So, absolutely, yeah, I'm hopeful for that. Absolutely. And talking about Jamaicans making impact still, Susan Rice, former National uh, Security Advisor to former President uh, Barack Obama, has been tapped by President-elect Joe Biden to become the director of the White House Domestic Policy Council. Yep, another Jamaican. No, get this. Rice, whose grandparents are Jamaican, will need no Senate confirmation at all. She joins another high-profile Biden administration personality with Jamaican roots. And talking about Jamaicans taking over the world, we are known for it, and this is another instance of that glory showing. I love it. So we'll get another auntie. <sighs> we have another auntie in the White House. So. Many people are wondering if, you know, with so many Jamaicans in the White House, does that mean <clears throat> easier entrance to the U.S.? Boy, I think it just means that we get, we get marked a little harder now than before. I think so too. Yeah, man, because the standard is up yeah. there. But, um, you know, big up Auntie Rice. You know, we... You're calling her Auntie Rice already? Yeah, man, you know, big up my auntie. You're <laughs> big up Auntie Rice because guess what? It's not every day that people get to rise to the top of what they've set out to do. Absolutely. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm happy for her. And her being Jamaican makes it that even more sweeter. Of course, yeah. yeah. I wonder if we can go to the well, I'd love to go to the White House one day. I mean, just to, just to go there. To tour it? Yeah. Just I in love. case you want to run into yeah. President-elect Biden? Yeah, or Obama, Obama probably a walk around and thing, you know? Just, I don't yeah, think he's there auntie, still. Auntie, um, <laughs> auntie Rice. Auntie, come on. Say hi, Auntie Rice. You know? <laughs> All right, so some good news. The police are reporting that 18 month, month old Akila Patton, who was abducted on Monday in St. James, has been returned. Police say she was dropped off at a medical facility in the parish by unknown individuals about 10 a.m. So a sigh of relief. I know. Because I, I think I remember reading the story. She was with her mom and she was taken from her mom. And I, it's the first time I'm really hearing about a case where a child has gone missing. Yeah. And, and they've come back, so I'm really happy for that. Yeah, and I'm very happy she was returned, you know, in, and yeah. she was okay. And, and I mean, I can't even imagine that because as a mother myself, oh, I... Geez. Oh, I don't know, yeah. honestly. Yeah, but we just have to be vigilant, though. We have to be vigilant about our surroundings, especially in this time, because you see what's happening everywhere. Just be mindful of where you're walking, where you're driving, you know, keep yeah. the doors closed, all of these things. And it's, it's a season. It is. is. But just, just be mindful. Look out for yourself. Look out for your family. But look out for others as well. Yeah, very yeah. important that we do. And that's it, guys, for trending topics this morning.